Blade Tech Osprey Adept has finally made his way back round again, but compared to the Apex Predator, Hothead, and Cold Comfort, which all have unique god roles worth getting, does Blade Tech also fall in the same category? And does it have a god role worth investing in? Let's find out. The Blade Tech is the only adept at high impact void rocket launching game currently, which makes it perfect for the general collectors or for those who want a void rocket launcher worth using. As a high impact frame, it's based in the middle in terms of overall damage potential that rocket launchers offer, where adaptive and aggressive provide more bang for your buck. With a high blast radius and moderate handling speed, the following base form makes it a great fire and forget rocket launcher when aiming at group targets. Its perks, however, is what really pulls weapon through though. Outside of the common perks you would see on most rocket launchers, such as Autoload and Holster, Fill Prep, Golden Tricorn, and Frenzy, its most sought after perk combos really makes the weapon worth the grind. Combo 1 we have Envious Assassin and Bipod, which will allow users to have around 5 rockets in a magazine when pulled off correctly. As Bipod has now been buffed, it's 100% recommended to get one with the following combo because of the ease of use and the sheer DPS potential the area can provide. Slap on Impact Case and Perk and a dead big one mod for even more damage along with surges and you'll have a perfect void heavy to use in whatever boss field content you'll end up in. Combo 2, you have Cluster Bombs and Destabilizing Rounds, which is a very unique combo not seen before. Cluster Bombs tend to be 4 slot option, but in this case here is a 3rd slot option, which opens up potential to what it can pair with here. Destabilizing Rounds with the following pretty much turns our Cluster Bombs into more Cluster Bombs after use, and the Destabilizing Rounds additional damage effect is helpful for when you're clearing areas out. Having a high blast radius with the following can really push the weapon to its max if you can achieve it. Combo 3, we have Cluster Bomb and Last in Oppression, and once again, a unique combo that has some usage here and there. As Last in Oppression deals massive damage against single targets after a few seconds, the Cluster Bomb effect on top of that provides an additional damage boost with added AoE blast effect on top of what's currently being detonated. Basically, if you shot this roll at a mobile mini boss, not only would the damage applied be great, but any minor enemies that follow will receive a painful reminder to stay away from big targets. You could even use it as a fire and forget mortar if you can't stick your shots, so it has a number of ways to work around the user whether you aim or don't. Now although the perks are actually great for the weapon, it does get easily outshined by previous following weapons I mentioned earlier. High impact frames aren't the best when it comes down to damage, and a lack of major damage perks like Explosive Light for example, does make the following available kind of lackluster in certain contents. Yes, the perks do have a strong sense of purpose around ad clearing, but that's what machine guns do. Secondly, compared to Cold Comfort Origin Trait, Braytex is kind of meh, and feels more suitable on primaries or secondaries that have a bigger role in your gear. The combos chosen are the best that the weapon can offer, but outside of anything in-game or GM-wise, it's not the best thing to have on hand. For new players and collectors, I recommend you get the three combos recommended, but for end-game players, avoid it as there are better options to pick. So there we have it. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.